Hey everybody, checking in from Northern Wisconsin with your fishing report for the Hayward Lakes area, Shawamigan Bay and Lake Superior. It's the end of February and we have a ton of stuff going on. Uh, first of all, uh, we just got uh, plowed with a whole bunch of snow this week like a lot of people did across the country. But a lot of areas up here in Northern Wisconsin got over two feet of snow. Uh, you can see we've got a lot of it. Uh, but there's a lot of activities going on, um, whether you're cross country skiing or snowmobiling or ice fishing, uh, there's plenty to do. Um, right now you've got the uh, Birkebiner happening down in Hayward. And Eric uh, Tui, he checked in uh, with a report from the Hayward Lakes area, and he told me that ice conditions before the snowfall were really, really good. I mean, there's probably around two feet of ice or maybe more on most lakes. Of course, this snow is going to make travel a little bit difficult out there. Uh, so you might have to stick to snowmobiles or even snowshoeing out there to get a little bit of exercise. But he's been doing really well on panfish, kind of those main ba main lake basin bites, usually around 20, 25, maybe even 30 feet of water. But Eric is suggesting uh, to stay away from small lakes right now. You want to stay on our larger lakes, you know, closer to 1,000 acres, uh, just because oxygen levels are starting to get low, and that can be really hard on those fish. Uh, but he's catching, catching those panfish, crappies, and bluegills, usually on a small tungsten jig or a small lead jig tipped with a waxy or a spike, obviously using your electronics to move around until you can find fish. He also said that the northern pike bite has been really consistent, um, especially out off of those weed edges in around 10 to 12 feet of water. But he also suggests, though, when you're setting up your tip-ups with a shiner or a sucker, uh, don't forget to put one out in the main lake basin as well because a lot of those bigger fish will roam out there this time of year. Now, don't forget on our inland lakes, uh, the walleye and pike season closes you know, a week from now. So the first Sunday in March, the walleye and pike season is closed. So you're going to have to lay off of those fish after that. But thanks a ton to Eric for checking in with that report. And I also heard from Aaron Castern up on Lake Superior in Shawamigan Bay. He's been out there almost every day. Um, he actually called me this morning and he was out kind of in that inner Apostle Islands area uh, checking out what the ice conditions were like after the storm and he was surprised that the ice from the mainland out to the inner islands let's say basswood island all stayed in place i mean that ice is still there eight to ten inches and he said it was pretty good going for him this morning um he he suggests do not try to venture out any further past that stay away from the south channel stay away uh, from the ferry channel uh, from madeline island to bayfield that's all going to be dangerous stuff but again that inner island area between red Cliff and basswood kind of in that zone there's eight to ten inches of ice they're getting a good mix of whitefish and lake trout there as far as Shawamigan Bay goes he said that's been that kind of that standard mixed bag bite right now out in anywhere from 30 to 40 to 50 feet of water he said there's probably two close to two feet of ice across most of the bay from Houghton Point all the way back to Ashland some pack ice out there that makes things tough. Now the snow that we got really drifted out there. So you're going to be, have to be careful of snow drifts. Um, snowmobiles are your best bet. You might be able to get around in ATVs, but you got to be careful. Watch out for that snow because you don't want to get bogged down out there. Snowmobile trails are great. Um, and boy, the way it's looking, we got plenty of winter to go here. Uh, so a lot of fishing, a lot of skiing, a lot of snowmobiling. Get out there, have fun, and have a great weekend.